We have our first official look at Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon, as well as the official release date for the two-part epic. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Rebel Moon. This is episode 5 and today we have our official first look at Rebel Moon, the two-part sci-fi epic that is being created by Zack Snyder over on Netflix. As well as the official release dates, but there is no specification as to whether or not part 1 and 2 will be released together. So Netflix have just released a trailer called Save the Date, where they have officially announced their new movies for 2023, alongside Sneak peeks of each movie, and we have one for Rebel Moon. I will play it for you now and then we shall break it down. For all that you love, show them your mercy! So first off, wow, it looks incredible. We've barely seen anything but I'm already so hyped to see it. We got first looks at Sophia Butella in action, as well as Jimon Honsu and Charlie Hunman. This is like Wild West meets sci-fi epic and is brought together with incredible visuals and hopefully an awesome story. So let's break it down frame by frame. So we start with this large ship flying down to the ground and if we look around we can see hundreds of spikes made out of stone and a planet in the sky. But if we take a closer look below the ship, we can see some sort of building below. This could be a small village that the main characters are visiting, or it could be the other side of what this concept art is showing. The ship in this concept art does look quite similar to the ship in the teaser, which could lead us to assume that they are the same ship, in the same location just before it has landed. We then get a shot of Jimon Honsu without his armour saying the line, For all that you love, show them no mercy. We then see Sophia Butella kissing a man, but I cannot tell which actor it is. So if you know, let me know in the comments below. We then cut to Sophia in action with a pistol, and then cutting to her fighting three men at once, and seems to be holding her own. So clearly she is a skilled fighter. We move over to a desert shot that I find very interesting. If we look in the background, we can see this character with a hat on, and if we refer back to the same concept art we used earlier, we can see that this is the same character, which would lead me to assume that this shirtless man is one of the three characters in this concept art as well. And I believe he is the one on the left, as his cloak is very similar to the one from the art. Then we get a shot of Charlie Hunman pulling out a pistol before cutting to the final shot of the teaser where we see gunfire raining down on who I believe are the villains of this story. To compare it to Star Wars, I believe the ones wearing this armour are the stormtroopers of the Rebel Moon universe. Now I believe that the ship firing at them is either this one from the teaser or this one from the behind the scenes footage. And if we take a closer look at this shot, we can see some people people in different clothing to the soldiers, and I assume these are people who have been enslaved by the army. Earlier on in the Netflix teaser, we got two quick shots from Rebel Moon 2. The first is of Jimon Honsu kicking a soldier, and we can tell by his appearance that he is wearing the same outfit that he did when he said that line in the teaser. Not only this, but compare his appearance in this shot to the one that Zack Snyder released a while ago, you can clearly see that he has changed. In the Snyder image, he has hair and is wearing armour, so we can expect some sort of time jump that will develop Jimon's character and his appearance will change with that time jump. The second shot is of Sophia Butella throwing an axe at someone off screen, and we can tell this is connected to her other scenes in the teaser, as she is wearing the same outfit and looks to be in the same location. We do have an official confirmation from Zack Snyder himself regarding who Sophia Butella's character is. Sophia Butella is Cora, the reluctant hero from a peaceful colony who is about to find she's her people's last hope. Now onto the official release date. Rebel Moon will be released on December 22nd this year. However, they haven't specified if it will be just part one or both parts releasing together. Now that is a very important piece of the puzzle, because Rebel Moon was filmed and will be released in two parts. However, as we know with Netflix, especially with their shows, they like to release all episodes together. We don't know if this will be the same model for Rebel Moon, but I sincerely hope it isn't, as that would be a very poor 
business decision from them and from a fan's perspective, the hype would be far greater if part two was released a few months after part one, giving a good amount of time for people to watch it and theorize about what will happen in part two. We are right at the beginning of 2023, so we have around 11 months until Rebel Moon comes out, which is disappointing for a couple of reasons. The first is obviously I want to see it as soon as possible because I'm really excited for it. The second is that this could imply even further that both parts are being completed and released together, which is why it's taking almost an entire year from the end of production to the release of the movie. However, taking their time will really benefit this franchise, making sure the CGI is as strong as it can be and also giving a good amount of time to go back and do reshoots or additional photography if needed. There's nothing worse than a rushed movie or a movie that you've been pulled out of because of the weak CGI. And because Rebel Moon will be so visual effects heavy, taking their time is the right approach. So I believe the reason why it is being released in December 2023 is because they are taking their time to complete the movie rather than rushing it for an earlier deadline. But it's great that we finally got our first look at Rebel Moon and I cannot wait to get a full length trailer in the near future but make sure to let me know what you think of this teaser in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.